Hello, superheroes and supervillains. It's your friend, Sean PVS 101. Welcome back to our brand new video on my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very well recently. In today's brand new video on my YouTube channel, I'm going to do my a new top list on my channel. Yes, I'm going to do a brand new top list on my channel. It's called my top four favorite animated movies of the year 2022. Yes, I'm going to do my top four favorite animated movies of 2024. So yeah, before I start this video, guys, this is just my personal opinion and my choices. If you kind of disagree on, on some points, good for you. I totally respect your opinion. <coughs> Enough talking. Let's get into let's get into the top four of my favorite animated movies of 2022. At number four, I have Minions: The Rise of Gru. I do really like Minions: The Rise of Gru. It's not the perfect animated movie, but I do really like this film. This is probably the most entertaining film of 2022. I really have a blast watching Minions to Rise of Gru. I thought the whole movie was a lot of fun, clever, and very creative. Because this film was a, a very creative prequel to the Despicable Me movies. Because of this film is an origin story of young Gru, how to become the world's greatest supervillain, but I do love to see Steve Carell again as Gru because he is just too perfect at this character, but I love this version of young Gru. I thought he was amazing and very adorable. I thought he was the best part. Along with that, Wild Knuckles was excellent. I really love Wild Knuckles. I thought he was an amazing character and a very I love Wild Knuckles as a character I thought Alan Arkin did a great job voicing this character because of this is Gru's favorite supervillain that we want to inspire when he grows up I just love Wild Knuckles because I just love both Gru and Wild Knuckles relationship throughout the movie when they sneak in to do a heist of the main game of evil that is a very great scene because it got some pretty pretty good callbacks to the original despicable me movie so yeah i really like minions the rise of Gru. it was a lot of fun and entertaining <coughs> i do like all the characters some of the vicious six are the five vicious six characters are a bit weak they're, they're barely in it but that's the only weakest part of the film overall if you like if you love or slash like the, all the Despicable Me movies, if you're a diehard Despicable Me fan like me, you will love this film. It, it got some bit of callbacks to the original movie and previous films. So yeah, Minions to Rise of Gru is at number four spot. Not a perfect movie, but I do like it what it is. At number three, The Bad Guys. Yes. Number three, I have The Bad Guys. I really love this movie. This film was an excellent animated movie from DreamWorks Animation. I really love the story, characters, visuals, <laughs> and the action scenes are a lot of fun. I do love all the characters. Mr. Wolf is a great character. I do love his friends. Diana Fox was badass and hot. I do love their relationship. So yeah. Amazing original DreamWorks animation. Can't wait to see more of them in the future. At number two, I have Turning Red. Wow, what an amazing Pixar film it is. Because I really love Turning Red. I thought this film was a lot of fun, clever, and very, very well done. I thought this film was a, a great original Pixar movie because I do love <coughs> watching Turning Red. I thought this film was very clever and, and Hilarious. I do love Minnie Lee's as a character. I thought she was a lot of fun and very heartwarming. I do love her friends. The friends are the best part of this movie because her many Minnie Lee's friends are very supportive and lo lovable. Because this is a friendship movie. Because we focus on Minnie Lee and her beloved friends. But I do love her giant rand panda moment. So yeah, I love Turning Red. Beautiful animation. Great storytelling from Pixar and great moments. So yeah, I love Turning Red. That's my number two spot. Oh boy. 
here comes my number one favorite animated movie of 2022. The number one best animated movie of 2022 is Gamio Gatoro's Pinocchio. Wow, this is easily <coughs> so sorry, guys. But have sorry about my bad cough. Anyways, my number one favorite anime movie of 2022 is Pinocchio. Not the not the Lionscape version or the live action Disney remake. It's the Get Me Out the Toros Pinocchio on Netflix. Wow. What an amazing anime movie. This film is a perfect masterpiece. I have no issues with it. Beautiful writing, lovable characters, beautiful songs, and spectacular, gorgeous stop motion animation. I love the stop motion animation. This is giving me a Leica vibe because of the human caricatures kind of give me like a vibes like box trolls so yeah i love gamio gotaro's pinocchio is easily the best version of pinocchio since the disney animated movie this is his best version uh, this is the best gamio gotaro's film since hellboy films and this is easily the best animated movie on netflix yet and the best movie animated movie of 2022 well, that's for my top four favorite animated movies of 2022. I know I forgot to see some more animated movies this year that I love, but sadly, before I end this video, I before I end this video, guys, sadly, guys, I haven't seen Puss in Boots The Last Wish, which is another animated movie that people love. I haven't seen this film, but I might check it. I'll, I might watch this film at at my local home. I didn't see this film in theaters because I, I, I only just saw Avatar The Way of Water and said because of, come on, it's James Cameron, it's Avatar. So yeah, I don't hate Puts in Boots Last Witch. I haven't seen it, but I heard some praising things about it because it gotten the best Rotten Tomato score out of the Shrek films, which I can't wait to watch Puts in Boots at my comfortable home. So yeah, now then I'll review it and share my thoughts on it. Well, that's my movie. That's for, that's for my top four anime movies of 2022. Give me your top list favorite anime movies of 2022 and get totally wicked.